Hello friends, this is a short video on sepsis. What is this sepsis steps? It includes SIRS, sepsis, severe sepsis and septic shock. In this session, we will study about the criteria involved in SIRS, sepsis and septic shock. First one is SIRS. That means systemic inflammatory response syndrome. In this, there is temperature of more than 100.4 degree Fahrenheit or less than 96.8 and respiratory rate is more than 20 and heart rate is more than 90 and WBC is more than 12,000 or less than 4,000 or there is more than 10% of bands and PCO2 is less than 32 mmHg. So these are the criteria of SIRS. What is sepsis? Sepsis includes SIRS that means all these criteria plus there is suspected or confirmed infection. There is confirmed or suspected infection. What is severe sepsis? Severe sepsis. It includes sepsis that means SIRS plus infection plus there is signs of end organ damage there are signs of end organ damage and there is low BP that is hypotension systolic blood pressure is less than 90 SBP is less than 90 and Lactate level is high, that is more than 4 millimoles. What is septic shock? Septic shock. This septic shock includes severe sepsis. It includes severe sepsis plus there are persistent signs of end organ damage and hypotension and there are persistent high levels of lactate. In this, the symptoms are persistent, that is persistent signs of end organ damage and persistent low BP and lactate levels are high. So, this is a short discussion on sepsis steps which includes SIRS, sepsis, severe sepsis and septic shock. You should remember the criteria and what is the difference between all these four. Friends, if you like this video, please click like button and share this video to your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. Thank you.